Okay, hey guys, uh, really excited to be receiving this. So um, this is actually a Kickstarter project that I funded um, late last year. It's gonna be really cool to unbox this, so um, check out this very brief <laughs> unboxing video and I'm just gonna go through what's inside after it, okay? Alright. Take my watch. Don't take my watch. Oh my god, it's so funny. Hurry up. Look at you. Look at you buying some. Did you go on like an auction again? Okay, so, uh, yeah, there was a very brief unboxing video, so, as you can see, this, let's fill this stuff, is the Ceric, comes in a really nice box. This is just the packaging, but this, well, it's cloth and looks nice, I guess. And inside, we have it. Okay, so let me just run through this real quick, pulling it out. So this is the Ceric Solo Scope. Um, I got the rose gold one. I can't remember how much I backed it for, but this is a Kickstarter project that I backed last year. It took them a while. Um, from what I understand, it's that um, whenever the updates come, it says that there are problems with the machining, um, problems with making the watch. But as you can see, it turned out really, really nice. So. Um, it is pretty chunky, it is pretty heavy. Uh, I don't really have a very big wrist, but it really looks good. It, it's something that people will wonder what it is, and even if they do see it, they don't know how to read the time. Um, I'll see if I can get a close-up on it in a second. 
as you can see, this strap is genuine leather. It's uh, no, it, it says here famous Halloween leather since 1905, which I will try to get a close up on that as well. Um, the, the finishing of it's really good. It's really smooth, and it, once again, it just looks really, really cool. And then it is really heavy. It's a, it's a chunky watch. You can't, you just can't deny that. Okay, and uh, what else is in the box? just a box. Uh, there is this. It's a warranty. It does state that it's one year limited warranty. And the instruction manual, it's actually online. You have to go down to the website and it's a PDF I believe so I did check that out. And bear with me one second and I will give you a close-up of the watch. Okay, so there might be a bit of shadowing. I'm gonna try my best not to. As you can see, this is the watch itself. Um, these are the... I really have no idea, but it's supposed to keep the thing balanced. That's the second hand. And the outer dial is actually, I guess, AM. And the inner dial is PM. So you do read it according to how the uh, arrows, well, the hands are pointed. Uh, I don't want to get into that because I'm still learning how to read the watch. You can actually go onto the website and see how to do it. Okay, um, the leather finish is really good. Uh, this is the back of the watch and this is actually what I was trying to show you guys earlier. It's nice. It's pretty rugged. Uh, as you can see, it's an automatic watch, so it... there you go. The finishing's really, really good. It's really nice. This is where you adjust the time um, as far as possible. The only thing I can say, it's really hard to, you know, maneuver it. But all in all, it is pretty good. It, it does have a slight edge to it, but I believe it's because of the, the beveling of the side. Okay, so this is the Seric Soloscope. Really looks good and uh, it, it's a nice watch to keep. Then once again, I found it on Kickstarter. I don't know what's the retail price of it. Uh, so don't quote me on anything, but if you have a small wrist, it is going to be a really chunky watch. And uh, yeah, so this is the only other thing in the box. This is the warranty instruction manual. You do have to go online to get it. Okay, so that's my well review or unboxing of the Celic Soloscope. All in all, I think it's really nice. And it's really, really funky. It's heavy and it's chunky but it's definitely an uh, it, it's a good conversation starter and people really do look at it and as far as possible it, it's really going to be difficult to read so it takes a while to get used to it once again uh, I would say uh, the dial will be really hard to reach to you know if you do have to change the time but if you do wear it all the time you shouldn't be I uh, shouldn't have to require to, to change the time a lot. Uh, finishing on the watch looks really good, looks really professional. However, I really do have to say that um, rose gold isn't exactly the best color to take. Uh, it looks pretty nice, I, I think it looks good, but I believe uh, there are other colors that you can get. Um, so once again, this was on Kickstarter. You will be able to purchase this on their website or some other sites. I don't know what the retail price is and I can't remember how much I backed it for. But yes, I did get it early. So once again, it did take a while. I funded this last year. I believe I funded it um, in, in the middle of the year. We've been getting updates throughout the end of the year and it really did take a while but I guess it was worth the wait.
So that's it, and I will see you guys again.